I will say this, in terms of what the research is showing today, there is no controversy on this particular fact that the cell phone radiation goes through the blood-brain barrier, and it only takes two minutes. The how, blood-brain how, barrier... How can it go through the... How does that uh, transfer? Does it just go... Th I don't understand it. Uh, explain that for us. This, it, it's, it's just basically this, this, this membrane, and I'll just back up a little bit with the membrane of the blood-brain barrier is a membrane, and it's a protective membrane that keeps the blood from circulate, that circulates in, in, in our system from carrying damaging proteins and, and he heavy, metals. heavy metals. Yes, yes. Correct, into the brain. Yeah. Now, this membrane, okay, is easily affected by these electromagnetic, these, again, these low frequencies, these microwaves. Now, microwave radiation, it, many people know this. They use microwaves. What do they use microwaves to? We call them microwave ovens. What do they do? Cook the food. Cook the food. How does it cook the food? It uh, heats up the molecules uh, or, or make them basically go faster or, or what do you call it? Correct. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> It agitates the molecule at such a fast rate that it creates heat. Yes. Okay, now these microwaves, just imagine, these microwaves, it's like sticking literally one's head into a microwave oven mm. on a lower dose. And that this is happening continually. What is happening to the molecules in the brain? I have no idea. The fry probably they heat, heat up then. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's exactly what's happening, and yeah. they call it slow cooking. Hmm. I mean, many of the researchers actually refer to it as you know you're just literally cooking your brain. Yeah. And 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 I think it's a really great way to look at it because we certainly are doing it with food. We have no question about what's happening to food because we see that it's cooked. Well, what's happening to the brain is something very similar. It's just happening in a slower amount because, of course, we're not you know, in terms of the exposure with the cell phone itself. So here it is, within two minutes, it does not take that much for now. What's also interesting in the research, and I think I, I really would like to point this out, that the blood-brain barrier opens up and allows then these protein molecules and whatever needs these foreign substances to enter. And it basically will stay open for five hours. Oh, really? That long? that long Oof. and that these proteins can now in terms of pumping they actually come in and they pump together which is the theory behind what is happening with these tumors hmm. so thinking about young children for example who are being exposed to uh, cell phones I mean they're using these cell phones and what has been found in the literature with the research in fact has shown that many of these young people are in fact being highly exposed uh, due to their brains not having the capabilities as adults do, the, the structure of the brain and the, the skull, of course, being uh, much more solid, much more uh, developed that uh, young people do not have, and so they don't have protection. And so we are, in fact, seeing many of these uh, young children being exposed to these high amounts. And not only is it that tumors are one of the you know, got side effects. We're also seeing that many of these, and the other influences that take place, particularly for the brain, is the influence of the neurotransmitters. Dopamine, the serotonin levels are being affected. This has a lot to do with depression, mental health, and you mentioned earlier about ADD and ADHD. The same thing here, not, then, yeah. We, we've gone around in a circle, have yeah, we not? Yes, ex exactly, absolutely. We need to do something here on a much broader scale, and that is something for the environment. We need to do something to protect what the towers are emitting, because that's really where the problems are lying. It's not just with the cell phone itself. Uh, well, that's, uh, I think that's a very good point. I'm glad you brought that up, because I actually read a new study in uh, the local paper here the other day, which, which claimed that uh, you know, cell phone is not connected with the uh, brain uh, cell phone use is not connected with brain tumors there was like oh well okay we'll see about this i read the, the entire article it of course the entire article ended with the the statement that they've actually not those who had brain tumors and the increase they mentioned the increase just as you did uh, here as well uh, but they m mentioned yeah. that they basically haven't uh studied the the behavior uh, 
uh, you know, of, of the people who actually had the brain tumors, meaning they could actually be high uh, users of cell phones, but they haven't even investigated that. But second of all, they said that mm-hmm. the, um, the use of cell phones uh, did not really correspond to the, uh, the increase in brain tumors because the increase in brain tumors happened before. But then my thought was, well, but wait a minute, the towers actually went up before because they knew before they started push, pushing the cell phones and selling those to everybody that they need to have the infrastructure in place uh, to be able to handle all the calls that are going to be made. So if you look at you cell have- phone uh, towers, you know, you have a direct correlation mm. there instead, right? Absolutely. That, that's exactly my point. And uh, again, you have these campaigns that, where they basically are uh, they basically give you the cell phone. Okay, I understand that from a money point of view, they want to have you hooked by the uh, the minute costs, of course. But th- basically, they cost uh, you know less than a, a dollar or even a, a crown for us up here. You know, and you and and they are paid for right. by the cell phone company, so they want everybody to use them. And there's even a campaign up here now. Don't know if it goes on in other countries, but uh, basically, they're they're mentioning how uncool the regular landlines on or or and they want everybody to move over to the. Uh, the wireless and the, and the cell phones now. Even though, right. as you mentioned, studies here in Sweden have been done, which uh, which which recognize how dangerous it is. You know, the scientists in Spain and Sweden was one of the other countries. Germany and England were forbidden to speak on the dangers of EMF, and or their research would hmm. no longer be funded. There you go. Well, that's, a, that's so, all the evidence we need, really, right there. Then we know what the, what the score is. That's just incredible. Because there are very simple ways that literally can neutralize these types of effects. Hmm. So is, is, the, is it like a, a, a geometrical shape in a form of a 3D uh, object, or is it... Yes, ju- okay. yes. it will be, yeah, yes. And, it, and it, they're just little, small, little uh, geometric shaped patterns that literally can be placed on a computer or on a desk or within the environment uh, and different ones that are used for different purposes that will that will offset and they're and supposed help with to, and they're supposed to cancel out then the the radiation basically correct does that mean correct. that a, a, for instance a cell phone won't work within the field of this uh... no it absolutely works but what it does is it helps to neutralize the detrimental aspects hmm. of what is being emitted and so that in which of course is what we want to have happen and if there was even some tech some ways to offset it with with very high therapeutic grade essential oils in combination because they have a frequency in combination with um, some very simple techniques of using peat moss for example mm. uh, which I do have in my book that uh, can sit on top of a, a computer or near a and that will help to absorb the, um, the radiation, the, you know, the exposure that what's being given off. So that so these are just some very simple. Uh, they they help, and the more that we can do to help ourselves, the better it is. 